What is up, Ninja Nation? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we start, hit that subscribe button and join the fastest growing pitching community on YouTube. Not only the filthiest highlights, but the best pitcher interviews. So hit subscribe, and here are my filthiest pitches of the day. Going to start out with the professor, Kyle Hendricks, and this changeup that had 19 inches of run. You can see the release right there. That is filthy. And these overlays show why Kyle is able to get folks out despite not throwing over 90 miles an hour. You can see how his fastball and his changeup look the same, but that speed differential gets the swing and miss. Nick Lodolo had these wicked curveballs, including this one to Voigt. You know, sometimes this game can be frustrating, as Voigt lets you know on the way to the dugout. Nick Lodolo was kind enough to send me his breaking ball grip, and I'll share it with you now. Sean Manaya had this sick two-time zone slider. I mean, look at that thing go. Frankie Montas's splitter is one of the best in the game, and you can see why here. I think it's filthy. Michael Lorenzen got this ridiculous sword in the other batter's box. Freaking hilarious. And check out this bowel-locking breaking ball by Spencer Watkins to Elvis Andrews. I think this qualifies as a near-death experience. David Robertson threw this beautiful backdoor cutter. I mean, look at that. Just barely catching the zone. Paint. Joan Duran quickly is becoming one of my favorite pitchers to watch. And it's not just because of his splinker. I mean, check out these 101 mile an hour fastballs. And he also got a White Castle special here. Just disgusting. Bruce Dar Gratterall had this 101 mile an hour sinker that ran 16 inches. Sometimes all you can do is watch. Shane McClanahan is quickly turning into one of the most electric starters in baseball. I mean, look at these curveballs. They are vicious. And this overlay shows you why he's so hard to hit. Mid to upper 90s with that breaking ball? Forget it. Speaking of wicked breaking balls, check out these from Keegan Thompson. I mean, he nearly breaks Choi's ankles with this. This is pitching's version of an Allen Iverson crossover. But my filthiest pitch of the day comes from Taiwan. Check out this curveball from Lin Su Wei. I mean, he killed a man. And here's the view from Pitching Ninja Soul Cam. You can see the moment the hitter's soul leaves his body. That will put you on the Infinity Day IL. And now, Pitching Ninja's moment of zen. I love this from Shohei Otani interrupting Luis Garcia's rockabye baby windup, and then standing there smiling. Of course, it didn't help. He still K'd, but this moment was awesome. It's not the first time that Shohei, well, appreciated Luis Garcia's windup as you see him imitating Luis Garcia here. 